This is James at Allegion on the selectbutton.net forums. We're going to look at the drum can in Metal Gear Rising here. Here we see that it works great as a perpetual motion machine when grinding against a background object. In Rising, only Monsoon and Armstrong successfully pitch architecture great distances, and the drum can is a third. The box lacks such power as of now. We need more box rush in this game. Clearly we're dealing with a pacifist cardboard box. A box of peace. A box whose corrugated dream is only to hold canned goods, or perhaps demo-worthy watermelons. Hopefully future revisions of Rising will reawaken the box to its box rush legacy from Metal Gear Online and Peace Walker. Fortunately, the drum can can tide us over. It is a Katamari of Thanatos and Chaos. Consider the following. Behold the effect of its steel rim against a PMC-grade APC. Entering the can and leaning forward shatters urban lights of finished design. Its merciless forward bow brings calamity to the tame Denver Cedars. The can bullies its way into treasuries, looting what goods may lie therein. Truly the drum can is Metal Gear Rising's sleeping giant. Here's how to use it. On PS3, press the L1 button to ready the drum can, then press R1 to lean forward. Now Raiden can start rolling. Falling hits do the same damage as rolling hits. This is a good way to destroy environmental objects without slicing. It can also be a strategy for a low-ranking, if otherwise challenging, non-lethal run. The drum can will scatter objects not fixed to the ground, such as these crates and the canopy from before. Objects fixed to the ground, such as this police car, will go to their next phase of damage. In this instance, it's flame and despair. Perhaps this is no ordinary drum can, but a high-frequency drum can that shares affinity with Raiden's blade. Once Raiden goes into Ripper mode, its destructive power significantly increases. That's just one hit! This could prove interesting for future messing around with a drum can in Revengeance, so we're going to look at a comparison between normal drum can use and the Ripper mode drum can. In normal mode, Raiden has to fall on this armored personnel carrier six times before it gains access to either APC Heaven or APC Hell, depending on the specific content of its doctrine and belief. Once Raiden enters Ripper mode, the subtle six times touch of the dormant high frequency drum becomes an Indian burn straight from the devil himself. In conclusion, everything presented in this video is true.